I almost named the video this, but I thought that was a tad too gimmicky. Anyways, hey, maybe you watched my last video, maybe you didn't, but there's a lot more of you. Like, more than twice as many as before, which is sick. But I'm not going to dwell on that too long, though I am incredibly, incredibly grateful. I'm Muck, and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about Reddit predators and pedophiles, or as they would define themselves, hebophiles, and how they were exposed for grooming on r slash teenagers, a subreddit meant exclusively for teens. Reddit users have been associated with perverted behavior for a while now, mainly in memes. You've probably seen quite a few jokes about how much Redditors love their little underage kid and e girls, but at the end of the day, there really wasn't much to back this idea up. Of course, you see people all over Reddit talking about their unbelievably bizarre fetishes, whether it's the excessive love for a giant sentient cockroach shitting and pissing on their partner or wearing diapers. Reddit has no shortage of these kind of things. And it makes sense why this is the case. No one on Reddit has their real full name as their username, and no one follows their friends from real life on Reddit. Anything you say on there is entirely separate from your good, pure name. There's zero evidence to connect that guy who just commented that he loves being shat on during intercourse to you. So people say whatever they want, really letting all their strangest thoughts and fantasies out. This, along with a few other reasons we can talk about a different time, is the main reason why Reddit's been associated with pedophiles for so long. But it's not really right. Is it? I mean, to make the jump from poop kinks to pedophilia, that's pretty drastic and a bit unfair. They can't control their kinks. It's not a good reason to call them pedophiles. Then, something happened on r slash drama that changed the whole thing. First, a tiny bit of background. r slash drama is, as the title suggests, a subreddit for drama. It's meant as a semi-shitposting alternative to r slash subreddit drama. The creators of r slash drama started it after they felt subreddit drama was pushing an agenda too hard. r slash teenagers is a very different subreddit meant only for teenagers. If you've been alive before, you might be aware of the fact that teenagers are those with ages that end with teen. r slash teenagers is a subreddit by kids for kids. For kids. For kids. Why just for kids? Why is this so important? What's the problem if a 50 year old decides to join the discussion of the new Halo with a teenager online? Well, because teenagers are horny. But the only thing even more horny than a normal teenager is a Reddit teenager. Teenagers on Reddit tend to not get that many opportunities to release their pent-up thoughts in real life, and would you look at that, nearly 3 million teenagers around my age, surely at least one of them wants to talk about sex with me. So, if a teenager were to post about sex, and a 50 year old were to find this post and start talking to him, we'd have an issue. So, we've established why this would be a huge problem. Now let's finally get into what r slash drama did and why it's one of my favorite things to ever happen on Reddit. r slash drama had a theory that there were a shit ton of full grown adults on r slash teenagers, and so they came up with a plan to test this theory. What they did was they constructed a bot that would ban every account on r slash drama that was a frequent user of r slash teenagers. Because r slash drama is an 18 and up subreddit, and if a user is on r slash teenagers, obviously they're underage, so they must be banned. So they banned all these people and gave the ban message underage. No other clarification. Now, these people had no idea why the r slash drama mods think they're underage. They have no idea they saw they were on r slash teenagers. So, they reply. Hey, I'm not underage. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm actually 58, you fucking dumbass. Because who wants to be banned for something that isn't even true? And here, they unknowingly expose themselves for being fucking weirdos. Using this method, r slash drama was able to identify a shit ton 
of full adults and r slash teenagers, including a 35-year-old hitting on a 14-year-old and a 45-year-old talking about hot tween pussy. Jesus Christ. It's not necessarily the fault of the mods on r slash teenagers for not finding out which users are teenagers and which aren't. There's 3 million users in the community, so they can't sniff out every creepy adult. It is their fault, however, for not policing kids talking about sex on the internet. Obviously, the kids themselves shouldn't be doing it, but kids don't know better. That's the point of moderators. Under no circumstances should a post by a kid talking about sex be public and recommended to any human with an electronic device and an internet connection. But that's the way the internet is. And honestly, there isn't a real solution to it. Obviously, the mods should take down sex-related posts on a community meant to only be used by kids, but we can't tell kids to not be horny online. Or rather, we can tell them that, but chances are, they just won't. It's like why D.A.R.E. was so ineffective. Kids just don't see the consequences, and it's fun, so they do it. But it's nice to have people like the ones in our slash drama who will swoop in and save the day now and then. Alright, thanks for watching. I did another Reddit video, because nothing else ever does half as well as these Reddit ones, so I figured might as well, you know. Sorry it's on the shorter side. The time frame in which I actually am making these videos is pretty small. I'm still figuring out what kind of videos to make here, so I do really want to hear what you think in the comments. And once again, hello to all the new people, thank you for being here, and I sincerely hope you stick around. Here's that one statistic, so please do subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, join the Discord if you want, all that, and have a good one.